Have you just gotten your Lumox red light therapy device but have no idea when to use it? Don't worry. In this video, I'm going to share how I, as well as others on the Lumox team and many more of our customers like to use their device. Hey guys, I'm Fronella from the Lumox team. I hold a Master's of Science from Stanford University. And after sifting through hundreds of research papers all about red light therapy, I'm here to share with you when to use Lumox throughout the day. <laughs> Now, if you're a Lumox customer and you haven't read our Kickstarter guide already, you can find the QR code in the box when you first get your Lumox. And this is where you can read more about the info I'm talking about today, but in writing. With wavelengths, irradiance, and dose levels gleaned from scientific research, our guidance at Lumbox is really rooted in science. Most studies on red light therapy actually use specialized research-only devices that aren't commercially available, but their findings do reveal a strong potential for red light therapy's future. Lumbox brings that advanced research directly into a high-caliber, accessible product for you all to use. Now, the tips I'm about to share are the top ways that Dr. Viv uses her Loombox and also that I myself and many of our customers have found the most beneficial. But of course, everyone is different. So what works for me might not work for you. We all need different amounts of light to see a benefit, just like how our skin will tan differently when we go into the sun. So you're wondering when to use your Loombox for the best results. Well, timing matters with red light therapy more than you would think. So whether you're looking for an energy boost, better recovery, glowing skin, I've got you covered on when to make Loombox part of your routine. If you've been following any of the health and wellness tips, we share across our social media and email channels, you might have found that starting your day with morning sunlight sets up your body's rhythm to support the energy and focus throughout the day. And just like red light therapy can too. How? Well, I'm going to take you back to science class, but did you know that the mitochondria, those energy producers in our cells, are sensitive to red and near infrared light? When they're exposed to these wavelengths at a high enough irradiance, these colors activate an enzyme called cytochrome C oxidase, and this fuels the production of ATP, the currency of energy in our bodies. Plus, red light may also also help counteract daily energy drains caused by all the common stresses in our environment like pollution, toxins, and even exposure to artificial lights. All of these increase nitric oxide buildup in our body, which can slow ATP production. So nitric oxide is slowing energy production in our body. But here's the thing, red light appears to reduce this buildup, allowing our cells to keep their energy production smoothly. So while these studies were done using red light therapy devices that aren't commercially available, I found that adding Loombox to my morning routine gives my body an extra little support to start the the day feeling energized. So how do I do this? I use Loombox on my face within the first few hours of waking up. And don't forget the goggles. This is both to give me that daily glow because red light therapy for skin health is one of the most famed benefits, but also to help with my energy levels. There's more to consider when it comes to your morning routine too. And that's how to fit in Loombox around your skincare. I either start or end my morning skincare routine with a five minute Loombox session. It doesn't really matter if you do it before or after applying your products, unless you use retinol based products. So if this is the case, either use red light in the morning and retinol at night, or apply retinol on days when you're not using Loombox. And um, other reason is around sunscreen. So use Loombox before applying your sunscreen. Standard sunscreens typically don't block red or near infrared light because it's primarily designed to filter out harmful UV rays. But certain sunscreens with mineral blockers like zinc oxide might partially reflect or scatter visible and infrared light. So most people like to use Loombox on the face every other day or once a day if their skin can tolerate it. But generally giving their skin at least two days break every week. And if I miss my morning facial session, I'll usually just fit in a quick treatment on my face, usually around lunchtime before I head out for some midday sunlight. So what else can you use your Loombox for and when? Now, this is where things get a little more Loombox specific because the beauty of this device is that it's not just for your face only. You can really use it for your entire body. So what stands out to me about Loombox? First off is its portable design. We have a handle that nicely screws in here. It's super comfy and it's small and powerful enough that you can take it anywhere with you to the gym, when you travel. And the handle is great so you're not always having to balance it on things. It's designed to be used on the go. So I'll use it on my neck, on my leg, my arms, everywhere. So this is another reason why I love it because I can incorporate red light therapy into my schedule all day. It's great to temporarily relieve any backache after sitting down on sore feet if you're stood up all day. And I often do this because I like to work at a standing desk. I'll also use it on knee or elbow pain. I just set it up and use it at my desk. But then I also like to use it around my workouts because studies have shown that red light therapy may also improve recovery post-workout and help prepare you to perform better the next day. For me, I'm always out running and in the gym. So I'll use it on a focused muscle group for the day before I head out and then I'll use it after working out on muscles that I've overworked. Sometimes when I remember, I'll also use it during the workout too. I love it when I'm lifting because I have a hard time forcing myself to rest between sets. This is the perfect way to feel more productive during that time rather than just scrolling on my phone like you see so many people doing at the gym. Now how many of you struggle with getting restful sleep? I for sure did until I realized what an important role light plays in our circadian rhythm. I mentioned the importance of morning sunlight and using red light to help supplement that. But when 
the sun starts to go down, we want to be mirroring that change in light levels with the way we use Lumox too. For this reason, I prefer to avoid using Lumox on my face in the evening because even with goggles, I find that my head and my eyes are very responsive to bright light at this time. It might differ for some people. Some people find it's relaxing in the evening. So can you still use red light therapy at night? Absolutely yes, and I'll tell you how in just a minute. By the way, I also recommend adjusting the light levels on your phone, your laptop, and any ambient lighting in your house. Using your phone too close to bedtime can actually delay how long it takes you to fall asleep. Now, we've had a lot of feedback that using Loombox on the back of the neck, like so, I'll turn it into NIR mode, and then I'll just use it on the back of my neck for about 12 minutes before bed. So you can sometimes prop this up on a pillow, or place it on the couch while you're watching TV. And I found, alongside so many others, that it leads to a really restful night's sleep. Red light is such a strong color in our environment at sunset. It's like nature's way of prepping us for sleep. So if you're like me and your brain is always wired with a long list of to-dos and ideas when you're trying to fall asleep, you'll understand how frustrating it is when no matter how exhausted you are, it's impossible to fall asleep. Give this Loombox trick a try and let us know how you get on. Oh, and another way you've got to try using Loombox in the evening is by turning it to face a wall to create a soft red glow as you start winding down. The Loombox 2.0 has a six minute and a 12 minute timer, so there'll be a beep at both of those times. I find the 12 minute timer is so good because it holds me accountable, giving me just enough time to read a few pages of a book, do some gentle stretches or meditate in the red light instead of scrolling on my phone and doing these activities in bright overhead lighting that tend to keep me awake longer. So whether you're using Loombox for morning energy, midday muscle recovery, evening relaxation or maybe all three, Loombox stands out for a few key reasons. First off, its high irradiance ensures the light is powerful enough to reach deeper into your skin. This can target more than just the cells on the surface and many other devices out there simply don't deliver on this, especially those that haven't been third party tested or registered with the FDA. That's because these devices often just use a handheld light meter which can report really inaccurate ratings. So with Loombox's high irradiance, this means that less time is needed to achieve more noticeable results. Second of all, Loombox isn't just limited to facial treatments. Thanks to its powerful design and portable size, you can actually use it on any part of your body. I pack it when I travel, I take it to the gym, I use it around the house all day, and so do my roommates and my family when I go home. And for all our busy people out there, you can download our free ebook specifically designed for busy mums or anyone juggling a hectic schedule. If you want to get more creative with your Loombox, this guide is packed with tips on how to fit red light therapy seamlessly into your daily routine. Give us a like if this video has been helpful and subscribe to our channel as we continue to release more helpful content to help you get the most out of your Loombox.